Two Guys from Harrison, later shortened to Two Guys, was a former discount store chain that was in business from 1946 until 1982. Welcome to Eric C Productions. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified of my latest video that are posted during the week. Be sure to hit that like button and leave a suggestion or a comment. You might see that video in a future posting. Thanks for watching and now back to the program. The holiday harvest of value sale at Two Guys. Like a 20 piece Corel gift set by Corning now reduced to $38.88. Your choice of three GE appliances. A toaster oven, $29.99. A two-slice toaster, $13.99. Or an iron, now only $14.99. And to wrap it all up in, flat Christmas wrapping paper, 12 sheets for 77 cents. Think Christmas gifts. Shop Two Guys now. We save money for you at Two Guys, naturally. The discount chain, which was originally called Two Guys from Harrison, founded by Sidney and Herbert Hupchman in 1946. The Hubschmans operated a snack bar at the RCA manufacturing plant in Harrison. They made friends with one of the executives who offered to give Herbert a tour of the plant. During the tour, he spotted a room that had television sets that had been returned by retailers because of scratched cabinets. Hushman thought that he could move these damaged sets, so he made a deal to buy the TVs at a significant discount. Then he and his brother sold them in a nearby vacant lot with a $5 markup. They advertised via flyers and thought it would take a month to sell out. They sold out that very day. They continued the arrangement with RCA and soon were ready to open their own store and use newspaper advertising. By this time, they had heard of their competitors whining, we can't compete with those two bastards from Harrison. The Hupschmans wanted to use that as a store name ta to taunt the competition, but no newspaper would print it. So they settled on two guys from Harrison. The two brothers opened their first store in 1946 above an empty diner. Their business took off and their reputations grew. In 1959, the company acquired O.A. Sutton Corporation, manufacturers of the Vornado line of electric fans, air conditioners, and humidifiers. The merged company was renamed Vornado Inc. In the late 1960s, Vornado decided that it wanted to diversify further by looking for a retail merger partner outside Two Guys' mid-Atlantic marketing region. In 1967, the executives of the firm thought they found its perfect match on the West Coast when they found a diversified Southern California retail giant that was almost as large as Vornado, which was called Food Giant Markets, Inc. Food Giant owned 70 supermarkets that traded under the Food Giant name, 14 Unimart discount stores, 14 Builders Emporium do-it-yourself hardware stores, 6 packaged liquor stores. It also operated May and Berg milk products, which served 200 franchise Foster Freeze outlets, and Golden Cream Farm. Unfortunately, the perfect merger went sour quite quickly, and the performance of most of the former units of Food Giant plummeted. Vornado blamed the former managers. Everyone else blamed Vornado for trying to impose an East Coast way of doing things that was not appropriate for West Coast clientele. By the end of 1964, the Hodgman brothers were no longer part of the Two Guys organization. Herb Hodgman died that year and Sidney resigned the previous year. By, by 1972, there were 53 Two Guys stores, 65 Food Giant stores, 240 foster freezes, and 31 builders emporium units. Most of Unimarts had been phased out or were converted to Two Guys outlets. In 1978, Vornado sold 22 Two Guys stores in California and a builders emporium to Fedmart Corporation. This left the company with 60 Two Guys stores and some $100 million in cash, but also about $103 million in debt. In 
In 1980, the company reported a loss of $750,000 on sales of $733 million. And later that year, Interstate Properties took control of the firm after winning a proxy struggle. Stephen Roth, the active Interstate partner, regarded Vernado's real estate holdings as more valuable than its declining retail operations. He liquidated Two Guys, which was doing $600 million a year in business, but had an operating loss of more than $20 million in the first half of 1981. After selling all of the retail stores, Vornado was later renamed Vornado Realty Trust, having become a real estate management company dealing in valuable commercial retail space. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C. Productions.